another workout. Um, today we are going to be focusing on your hips, mobilizing your hips, strengthening your hips, making sure you have strong, healthy, happy, functional hips. Um, you will need a long TheraBand. If you don't have a long TheraBand, grab a long scarf. So while I'm talking right now, I can go grab a long scarf if you don't have that. And then if you have one of these tube leg bands, awesome. If you don't, that's okay too. If you have a long band, you can always tie it around. So whatever you have, um, we'll make it work. So the first thing we're going to do is a little mobility exercise that I love, where you're sitting in this kind of 90-90 internal and external rotation. Um, if this just feels impossible for you to get into, um, just make it much smaller. You may have one hip that is very tight. And we're just going to start to rock over to, so I'm rocking into my outer left hip, and then I'm dropping my right sitting bone down and getting that thigh to turn in. Now, for me, this right side is my tighter side in that TFL kind of upper um, lateral hip area. And so I need to spend more time rolling it out with a tennis ball or a roller, and it helps that. So you can do that too. Um, inhale, that can be another class and sinking the thigh bone down. So we're lifting and transferring our weight over to our left outer hip, and then we're turning the thigh in and sinking down. And over time, this will get easier, but it's a really good one to do to get that internal rotation and that thigh sinking down into the socket. Do one more. Very good. Let's go to the other side. Okay, so we're here and we're lifting our hip up and then dropping it down and lifting it up and then dropping it down and lifting it up. Yeah, so you'll find like it's so interesting. This side for me is way easier. So again, get out that roller, that tennis ball and start to roll out that area that feels tight. That's it's kind of constricting your movements. We'll do two more like this. So we're going to mobilize before we strengthen. And last one. Good. Okay, from here, we're going to lie down on our backs and we're going to pull our knees in gently. So all that core work we did in the last workout applies. So the ribs are heavy. And we're just going to take some circles where we're um, guiding our femurs around in the base of the hip sockets. And we're just circling around gently. The knees come apart and then the knees come together. And the knees come apart and the knees come together. And the knees separate, should feel good. And then reverse it. And we go down. We're still keeping some core engagement here. The, the hips for sure. I think, yes, <laughs> out of everything, we need to spend more time on our hips with all the sitting and everything. Okay, cool. So we've done a little mobilization there. Now we're just going to bring our feet down and we're going to press down into the arms and we're going to do some bridging. And we're just going to do a regular bridge and then we're going to lower down. So we're starting to activate our glutes, right? And down, really important. So activate those glutes, keep your upper back heavy and exhale up. And we're just hinging down. So we hinge up and then we release down. Exhale, push down into your heels. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Heavy upper back. And I'll try to go on vacation like your upper back is on a beach in Hawaii and it's just your pelvis that's doing all the work here. And exhale and inhale and exhale. And then we're going to stay up and hold. We do a little hip dance. We release the left side of the pelvis down and then we lift it back up. So now your hips are level. You release the right side of the pelvis. Exhale, push down into the heel. Your hips are level. Inhale and exhale. So it's a little dance. We're adding a little rotation there. So you release and then reactivate. Release, reactivate. Release, activate. Release, Activate. I'm also feeling a nice kind of massage through the mid side of the back there. The last one. Pause at the top and then roll your spine down. Hopefully your hamstrings are doing okay with that. Just stretch them out for a second. 
Do, I would suggest doing bridging every day. If it's hard, it should get better. Okay, we're gonna lift back up. You're gonna keep your hips really level. And then we're going to push down into the left heel and float the right leg up to a tabletop as the left arm lifts up. And then we're gonna lower down. So we're gonna do a little march, but I need you to keep your hips level. So there's that. I don't know why I'm always referring to a, a glass of wine between your hip bones, but whatever it is, try to keep it there. But I, you can picture it's, it's more of the wine glass. You want it to just sit right between your, the visual of that glass sitting right between your hip bones, because if you dropped it right now, it would spill right now. We want to keep your hips level. So let's just kind of breathe through this and down. And down, hips are level, push down into the opposite heel, push down to lift up, right? Push down into the left heel, lift up, push down to the right heel, lift up, hold right here, and then roll it down. Awesome. We start with our feet together. As you lift up, you're going to squeeze your heels together and lift them up. So you're turning your thighs out and wrapping your thighs back. So now your side glutes and rotators are super active. Lower your hips down. Exhale, lift your hips up and lower down. Exhale, lift up and lower down. Exhale, lift up and lower down. Exhale, lift up. Your knees are apart. Your knees come together. Your knees separate. You squeeze your heels. Your knees come back together, pushing down into the arms. Press and down. Squeeze those heels and down. Hold right here. We do the same little dance. Left hip, squeeze your butt. Right hip, squeeze that right cheek. Left and up. Right and up. Left and up. Right, hold there and just do little pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold it 10. Roll your spine down. Very good. Stretch your legs. Yeah, so your butt supports your hips. So you <laughs> can work your butt too. Um, grab your scarf or your band. You're going to reach your leg up. Take the band. Place it around your foot. Um, really important. So your abdominals on the left side need to be very active. And we want to keep the left hip anchored. You could always bend your knee and keep that foot down just to help stabilize and keep that left side anchored. Okay, so from here we want to sink that thigh bone down deeply into the hip socket. So really feel it drop there. Hold it there, breathe, and then it will probably help to straighten this leg out if you can. We're going to take some circles. So I'd like for you to grab both ends with your um, right hand, and you can have the other hand on your hip. And we're just going to take a circle where we go up, sinking the thigh down. So I want to, I want you to think of kind of sticking or your butt out and dropping your sitting bones down so the thigh can sink down deeper as you circle and you cross the midline, you go over to the side and up. And this is just a nice circular hip circumduction work here. Feels really good. So we go across and then that left side is anchored again. If you're having a hard time keeping the left hip down, just bring your knee up. And then we reverse it. We'll do about six. One and two. And left hip stays down. Three. You're guiding it with your arm here. And four. And five. Last one and six. Awesome. And then from here, we're just going to pull it in a little bit more, come up onto the ball of your left foot, turn your left leg out as you open your right leg out to the side of the room, right? So if both legs are opening together. You're keeping your tailbone heavy, which means we're not lifting the pelvis like this. And you're just going to enjoy that little inner thigh abductor stretch. Hold that. And then as you do that, try to sink that thigh down into the hip socket. It doesn't matter where you are. Maybe your leg is much lower than mine, which is fine. And then just relax the leg down. We'll do that on the other side. Okay, so we've got leg up, knee bent if you need it, thigh sinking down. So you can really see on this side where it's not up, you want to drop that femur into the base of the socket there. Hold it, and then we circle across, keeping the right hand on the hip to keep it down. And two, 
again, this is my more, my happier hip, three, four, I'm trying to even them out, five, and six, breathe, and exhale, inhale, exhale, how that core work applies. Yeah, so this arm's just guiding it. Hopefully, if you have a scarf, it's long enough. And you don't want a very long scarf here. And if you don't have a scarf, just do smaller circles with the leg. Hold it at the top. Sink that thigh down. From here, we're going to come up on the ball of the foot. Open. So both legs open out to the side. You're on the ball of your right foot. It's like a little kickstand drop here. Thigh down into the socket and just breathe there. Hold it and breathe, hold and breathe. Should look good. And then bring it back up. Okay, cool. So now um, you're going to want to, if you have a band, wrap it around your thighs and make like a tight bow. If you don't have a band and you're using a scarf, don't use anything. I'm going to use my band here. I definitely think this is a great thing to get, just a little green. Um, fitness bands. You can use it in so many different ways. So I'm going to use that, but again, you use what you have. Okay, so really, really important. We need to strengthen those deep rotators, which are going to support you in standing um, balancing work, which we will do today. It's been a huge game changer for me and my, um, just my, my standing balance work and squatting, single leg squats. So we're going to start here. Um, so if you have like a yoga block or something to push into, that's always kind of a nice thing to have. I'm going to lift the bottom of my waistline and really important, make sure you're not tucking your pelvis. You want to pull that thigh bone back deeply into your hip socket. Okay. So it's like you are sticking your butt out naturally, but um, you're not overly extending your back. So please find that. And from here, we're just going to do a very easy clamshell where we're going to turn the thigh out and the leg lifts. You're going to try to melt that thigh bone back into the, towards the sitting bone. Relax it back in, kind of sink it in deeper, and then go back down. A lot of times I'll, we'll see tucked um, clamshells, which are not going to um, benefit you as well. Um, as much. So let's do them this way. Exhale, wrap that thigh back. Inhale. You want the head of your femur to be moving and rotating in that hip socket as best as it can. Oh gosh, this is like, <laughs> exhale. Pull the turn out, wrap that thigh back. Now notice you want to keep your hips level so you're not using your pelvis to pull yourself back, right? You want to keep your hips really level. And exhale. So to do this correctly, you're going to hopefully feel a lot more. So that's where I always say, you know, it's, then you can just do 10 really good ones rather than like 100 like so-so ones. And exhale. Breathe with me. Stay with me. Exhale. I'm suffering with you now. It's a, it's a good pain. It's a good uncomfortability. Good. One more. Hold here. Sink that thigh back and relax it. You may need to pound it out for a second. Okay, awesome. So now we lift the leg up and you're using those abductors, which are again going to support you in standing work. We're just going to make some circles. This is a killer. We're just going to do five, especially with the band. And four. Wait, my counting's off. <laughs> Three, I'm jumping ahead. Four and five. Go ahead and reverse it. One, you're holding your shape as if there was like a paintbrush coming out of your knee and you're making circles, right? Very contained through the hips still. Isolating that glute, pulling that thigh bone back into the socket. Last one. Oh my goodness. And pound it out. Okay, so you're here, your hips are level, and if you need to come up on your hand, you can. So this is like um, pushing on the reformer foot bar, which I love. You're going to, so notice my thigh, I'm fatiguing, so my thigh is dropping, but I want you to keep your thigh here. 
So you want to keep pushing up into your band. Let's breathe through this. We're just going to do um, seven more and push through the heels seven. Now, when you extend, your heels should be right under your sitting foot as if you were standing on your leg. And exhale, find your core. Inhale, find your core. Reach through the heel. If you're more comfortable down here, that's fine. It's kind of feels good to be up for a second. And exhale, deepen. And keep that thigh reaching. And push to the heel. And push, smile if it's really burning. Inhale. And exhale, push. And last one, we're going to say that is 10. And you're just going to do little lifts to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, take your rest. Give yourself a little stretch. Awesome. We're going to do that on the other side. Okay. Now come on down. Bottom side, little tone there. But as you exhale, you want to connect deeper. So you know your alignment. You're sitting tall on your imaginary chair. You've just flipped it onto your side and we go into our clamshell. One and down. Your hips are leveled two. We'll flow through it on this side. And three, I'm going to count. And four, melt that thigh bone back. And five. So we, we need to find where we can soften. Um, you know, I think as we get older too, we're, we're kind of reframing what exercise is to us and how we can approach it in a way that's going to work for our whole, um, for our vision, for our, for ourselves and, and the whole picture holistically. So for me, I'm working on this, this idea of kind of softening and relaxing. What happens when I kind of relax into it? And I'm not saying let my muscles go to sleep and let my abdominals completely go as I do this, but where can you soften? Where can you release within your good form? Melt the thigh back because your, your body, yeah, will respond to that. All right, I'm pretty sure that's 10. Hold it and relax. Okay, cool. That's what we just need. We need like therapy sessions while we work out. So it makes it, it is, it is, this is a form of therapy. This is, and two. And it's my therapy. Three, <laughs> exhale, four, and five, and six. Circle it around. You've got that paintbrush coming out of your knee and you're making circles. Your bottom leg is working a lot too because it's having to push it out in opposition. If you don't have a band, this is still hard. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, keep the foot flex, move your leg in one piece, one lever circling around and relax it. You might need to pound it out again. All right, it's just kind of nice to stretch your leg out. If you want to come up, you can. And we're going to inhale. And now your torso isn't changing. So try not to round your back here. Keep everything organized. And it's just, again, hip flexion. Then we go into a little extension. Your leg is, um, your heel's right under your sitting bone. Inhale and exhale inhale and exhale and inhale this is definitely a, a video you'll want to do over and over your hips will definitely get stronger i promise and good inhale push through the heel inhale keep that thigh up so you're again you don't want to let that thigh drop just do three more three breathe and two one more Hold it and relax. All right, awesome, very good. Okay, oh, <laughs> go ahead and come up. So I don't, I know you're probably tempted to stretch your hips, your glutes right now, don't, because I want them to be on, because we're gonna do some standing work now. But before we do that, we're just gonna kind of gradually work up to our standing work. Um, you can take your bands off if you have them on. Okay, so hips. 
Um, we've just worked, we've worked our hip extensors and our bridging. Um, we're now gonna do some standing weight bearing work. Um, so when you do a squat, just do this with me if you're okay to be on your knees. Your back stays in a neutral straight position. You're just hinging back at your hips and then you come back up, right? And you squeeze your butt at the top. So that's your squat mechanics. Now, if you want to also be aware of your neck here, let's see, I have one hand here on my head, one hand on my sacrum. You want to keep that relationship. So your neck is in line with your spine, right? A lot of times we'll look up in a squat or we want to keep that, like almost like if you have like a pull going down your back, you could also place your hand behind your head. If one hand behind my head, one hand on my sacrum, just to give you that uh, proprioception of where your head is. But the movement's coming from your hips here, right? We're not rounding the back. The movement's coming from your hips. So we used to come up. One more. Okay, cool. So we will stand up now. If you don't love squats yet, this is a great time to learn how to, to start to love them. So try to make it fun. Um, you're standing, right? And you may be in like like a tiny bit of turnout depending on your body. We're just gonna have our hands here today. I'll turn to the side. So I do want you to engage your butt at the top and I'm not saying do this, just engage your butt. And then you're gonna sit back on that imaginary low chair. I always think about this when, um, when we were traveling and those low, low, low toilets in those airports and you're gonna squeeze your palms together to come up, squeeze your butt. If you had like a um, block or something to squeeze into, you could, but again, your back is long and then whoo, squeezing to come up. So it's going to be inhale, exhale, push the floor away, squeeze your butt at the top. Inhale, ready? So here you are again, head, really good alignment here. One hand behind your head, maybe one hand on your sacrum just to find your alignment. <sighs> Breathing, inhale down, exhale, power up, push through your heels. Inhale down, good, so we wanna be here, we don't wanna be here, because what if you were picking up something really heavy, right? You want all the work to be in your butt, I'm telling you, um, <laughs> this is very functional. Picking up those heavy bags of cat litter is much easier now, inhale, Exhale, push your palms together, if you have that. Do two more, inhale, push down, exhale. One more here, inhale, exhale, awesome. Okay, this may be a progression. Standing on one leg, you should be, I'm gonna do my right, you should be able to engage your glutes when you stand on your leg. Make sure you're not hyperextending your leg, right? You wanna, you want it to be straight, but just standing on it. Now, maybe we, just, maybe we just have our hands on our hips today. We're gonna try to balance here. We're gonna try to do a single leg squat. You might need to hold on to a wall, which is fine. So I'm gonna place my right hand here just in case if you need it. You're gonna stick your butt out. You're gonna keep your hips level. So remember our single leg bridges where I was asking you to keep your hips level? <sighs> Exhale, come up. So your hips go back right? Your core is active, your neck is long, and then you're going to push down into that right center heel, and you're going to come up and find that strength. Make sure your knee is not rolling in, right? So if there's that band work that we did. So we inhale, and then as you exhale, come up. It's okay if you need to drop your foot down. Just try your best. Inhale, push down into that heel, find the glute. This may take some practice, hand on the wall as needed. Your hips are level, push into that heel, but this is gonna get your hips so strong and your knees so strong. If your knee doesn't like this today, just make it smaller. Maybe you're just trying to balance on one leg and that's great. Inhale, there's always an option. There's always something you can do and it's just to learn about your body and what's happening in your body and why things are happening. So I tend to shift my weight to my right hip so I really have to keep my hips level and push through the center of my heel because I want to like lean too far to my right. So I have to kind of think of keeping my body a little over to my left but still staying centered on my right heel. So 
you may have something like that too. Other side, Whew. okay. So standing here, hand on the wall, hips are level. You send your hips back. Eventually we're gonna wanna go lower. Exhale, hand on the wall if you need it. Inhale, now push down through that center left heel. That's, we're gonna count now, that's two. Inhale, make sure your knee's tracking, and then push down. Three, inhale, push down into that heel. Four, breathe, focus, and push down into that heel. Five, going for 10. And six, right there, long neck. And seven, really good. And eight, squeeze at the top, find that standing leg and push down, get lower, push from the bottom of your movement, right? And exhale, push from the bottom. One more, push from the bottom. Ah, all right, yes. And keep working on those. <laughs> Wrap those thighs back. You're going to be in a little turned out position here. So wrapping the thighs back and I'm just going to have you do a turned out squat. So you're like this, a little pitched over. We're just going to do some pulses, kind of deepening those femurs down and you're pitched over slightly just to even things out. Five more and five, four, three, Push those heels down, two, one, and then stretch the legs all the way. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push the floor away. Awesome, good. So you've definitely um, activated your glutes. We're going to lie down, and we're just going to finish with a little stretch for your um, glute tip area because we did a ton of that. But hopefully it feels nice and active and it's gonna support you, your hips are gonna support you for the rest of the day really well. So we're gonna go ahead and just place the right ankle here on top of the thigh. You may just wanna be here. If you can easily slide your hands under your thigh, do so. You could also use that scarf and grab the scarf as you wrap it around the, um, underneath your left thigh and just hold that and breathe. Try to drop your tailbone down and take a nice full breath. Good. And just hold that. Another full breath. You could do a little shift of weight over to your left outer hip. You can roll yourself back and then we'll switch sides. Okay. So again, this might be where you are. Grab that scarf and there's always a way. Drop your tail, breathe. Try not to force it. Again, that idea of kind of softening and melting into your work and then a little shift over to the right. and then come back to the center. Awesome, and then another great stretch since we're on the um, hip, hip train today. Um, it's just an easy psoas hip flexor stretch. Um, you're here, you're okay to be on your knee, and then if you, but when you're stretching, make sure you're still engaging your muscles and not just collapsing into your stretch. You want active right leg, and then you could reach your left arm up and have your right hand on your thigh, or if you have like a yoga block here, you could have your hands on the yoga block or the floor. So just give yourself a little stretch there. And then we'll switch sides. Okay, so just gently pressing forward, right? And lifting up out of it because flexibility really isn't um, helpful if you don't have the strength to, um, to hold it. There's been a lot of new studies on stretching and just kind of, again, reframing what that is. And, you know, sometimes stretching and stretching, stretching and stretching 
you still feel tight. So maybe it's that there's a lack of strength and that's why you're feeling tight. So it's all related. Just enjoy the stretch though if you're here. Awesome. And then come back up. Um, another nice one to do, and then that's it, is um, to mobilize your hips. This also would have been good to do in the beginning. And just to make little circles here. It also feels great in your back, um, but you're just sitting back towards your hips. And then coming forward and then reversing it. This is a little circle. And we're going to finish in a, a child's pose, which is a nice uh, kind of a pel nice pelvic floor opener, pelvic opener. Okay, so go ahead and just sit back. Let your head drop. Feel like your, hopefully your pelvis and your sitting bones can drop towards your heels. If not, you could bring a pillow um, up between your heels and your butt. And just let your body melt down towards the earth. Breathe. Take another full inhale and a nice long exhale. Awesome, great job. That was um, a lot of hip work. <laughs> My hips feel happier and stronger and I hope yours do too. Thank you so much.